Amazon FBA always gets plodded around as one of the hardest things to do, or the hardest things to get into, or you need a huge budget to get going, but today I'm going to show you exactly why that's not true. Today I'm going to show you step by step in four easy steps how to make money with online arbitrage and Amazon FBA. If you're someone who prefers to analyze retail arbitrage and go in store and find deals, go check out the video from last week. And if you want to see my total profit and loss so far on Amazon, go check the video from a few weeks before that. But today I'm literally going to show you them four steps on making profit through online arbitrage. We're going to find the products, we're going to list the products, we're going to ship the products, we're going to do everything in today's episode. So hopefully you're going to enjoy that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like Amazon FBA or just making money online in general. We do it all over here on the channel. And let me know down in the comments either what other Amazon FBA videos you want to see or what other methods of making money online you want me to see as well. Everything that gets suggested down in the comments will go straight onto my list and will be in the pipeline for future videos. But without further ado, let's get into step-by-step -step online arbitrage. So the first step is either going to be really simple and you'll have it done in two seconds or it's going to be a step that takes you a few days and that is having an Amazon FBA account. It is literally as simple as going through some complex processes but once it's done once you never, never have to do it again. First of all you're going to need a business set up which can be quite simple especially if you use a tied online business accounts. If you get one set up there, they will set up the business for you and pay the registration fees. But once all that's done, you then just need to go over to the Amazon FBA site and create an account there. The verification for everything can take a while, but you are setting up a business and you are setting up a seller account. So there is some things Amazon needs to be sure about, but once you've gone through all that process, you will be ready to get selling. It can be time consuming, but it is fairly simple to do. It just does take a while. Get the account set up, go follow some tutorials, and then come back to this video where we're now we're going to be moving on to step two, which is finding our products. So I have just loaded up the three sites you're going to definitely need when finding your products and sourcing your products from Amazon FBA, and I've got nothing else loaded. We're literally going to go and hunt for some products right now. I'll show you the process that I follow. I'm not going to make you sit with me until I find a product. But I'm going to show you the process that I do when looking for a product to sell online with Amazon FBA. And then I'm going to speed it up, make the footage go rapid if we didn't find a product together, and show you just how long it takes for me to find a product to sell. Now, as you can see in the background here, I have zero orders, zero buyers messages, 1% buy box wins, and only £5 in the balance. The reason for that and as you can see the sales over in the left hand side looks atrocious that is because i work on a budget i am not made of money i work on a very strict budget because i don't have that much money at all so the whole process i follow with amazon is quite simple i've given myself a 200 pound budget and all i've been doing is buying products with that waiting for them to sell on amazon getting the profit back from amazon and then reinvesting so I've got around about £140 to play with here. We've got around about £60 worth of stock still left in the Amazon account. Sales have died down a little bit, but that's because the products I found that were good sellers a few weeks ago aren't selling as good now. So that will happen from time to time, especially when you're doing online and retail arbitrage. You don't really get to choose your products too much. You just go with what's there and what's available. But the ones I've got will sell eventually. It's just a case of waiting around for them to go. So don't be worried about what you see on the screen here. If you do want to see the total profit and loss I've made on Amazon, go ahead and look at the video a few weeks back on the channel. I'm not going to lie to you and say I've made hundreds of thousands of pounds, but we are making slow and steady progress on Amazon, and we're making at the moment around about a 65 to 70% return on investment, which I'm very happy about. So quite simply, to find a product online, you're just going to go look around some websites. So I know air fryers sell very well, so I'm literally going to go and look to see if there's any air fryer deals at the moment online and see if there's anything we can see. Deals websites work well because they will literally just round up where deals are for you to go and have a look. So if we just keep scrolling on here, nothing's really popping up here. You can see this huge ninja one is looking at the okay at the moment. It's £230, but 
Not really sure if that'll be great or not. And to be honest, I can't afford to go buy one of them. We've got one here at Dunelm, that's £65. So let's go to the deal on this section and see what it's actually down from. So it literally just says digital air fryer. That is not handy at all. We need to know the brand. We need to know everything to go along with it. So that's not going to be very handy for us. But just go around some websites. You'll know which websites to look at. You can look at Argos. You can look at Tesco. You can look at Home Bargains. You can look at any site you want. But let's just have a look. So we've got some of these that have got their lowest prices available. Nothing really on offer. Which is a bit annoying. Sometimes it is best if you make sure that you go by customer rating or best seller status anything along them lines so if we just take a look here at this ninja food max jewel zone section we'll get that searched we'll come over to amazon which is the other site i always have open for obvious reasons and we can see this is it here 9.5 liters is that the same one it is so let's get that opened up and if we come over here to see all buy options you can see that the cheapest one available is actually £313 and none of these are actually getting dispatched by Amazon so that's a nice little thing to see there if we come down to sales rank let's see where we're looking it's got a very good sales rank it's 20 in air fryers it's 508 in home and kitchen so while we've got a product that we want to analyze and review let me show you the three sites you need open so first of all as you've saw just there you need Amazon open to be able to search for the product the second site you're going to want open is the revenue calculator. Quite simply, just search for Amazon FBA calculator and it will be the one on Seller Central. The third one you need open is your Amazon Seller Central and we'll get to why in just a second. But now that we've got a product that we want to see if we can make profit on, we're going to scroll down the bottom and we're going to grab the ASIN over here from the additional information. We're then going to come to the revenue calculator and put that ASIN in. We're then going to put the item sell price. So if we come find the cheapest, which is 313, I'm going to put it down to 29999 as a worst case scenario. And we'll see what the profit is looking like there. I'm going to remove the estimated VAT just because in the UK, you don't need to start paying VAT on your end until you have made a turnover of over 85,000. I'm nowhere near that just yet. So I don't need to worry about that at the current moment. Your country may be different and your business status may be different as well. Have a look for yourself. But Amazon will normally do all the deals for you and let you know what's going on. So if you get a little bit stuck, you can just go into the Amazon Seller Central live chat and they'll help you out for your specific situation. But if we go now down here to the cost of, go cost, cost of goods sold, we're going to be paying 230 for this item. So if we just put that in, you can see we'd be making £14 profit per air fryer now that's an okay return it's it may seem like a lot 14 pounds for everyone we sell but that's only a 4.6 percent net margin i like to get as close to 20 percent as i possibly can there i don't ever like to go under 15 but anything over 20 i like to do now yes we might be being a bit strict on the price there when we look over here and see that the cheapest one up up here is actually 313 so if we were to put 313 you can see that then still gets us only an eight percent return so it's not really that good but still even if this was between the 15 percent and above which is what i always look for and it's got the good sales rank which this does then there's still one step in the process that you need to look at and that is coming over to amazon seller central going to the three lines going to add products and yes you don't have the product yet you haven't even added it to your basket but this is still a step you need to do first we're going to put in the ASIN of the product and get it searched and then we're going to come over here say it's a new product and as you can see we would not be allowed to sell this product off the bat we would need to apply to sell the item so if we come over here and press apply to sell we're going to request approval for the ninja branded items in a new use refurbished everything along them lines request approval and then as you can see we are going to need to provide one purchase invoice from a manufacturer or distributor of a ninja branded product and we're going to need to purchase at least 10 units now when you press that apply to sell and then press this request approval you're going to get one of three choices or one of three outcomes 
First outcome is the one we just saw. You need to buy 10 of their brand through a wholesaler, through a manufacturer, and provide the invoice for that. I could not just go and buy 10 from Argos. It is very specific. You need to buy it from a wholesaler and have a specific invoice to upload and showcase. The second one is you might just have a few questions and a video to watch and then you can just get instant approval. And the third option or the third outcome I should say is just automatic approval. You can actually go on Google yourself and have a look and just type in instant Amazon seller approval brands and it will tell you which ones you're going to get approved for. There's actually some plugins you can get and some extensions for Chrome that will tell you how likely you are to get approval. It will even tell you just on the side over here if you need to get approval to sell this item or not. Personally for me, just for the sake of a few seconds of coming over here and then press and apply to sell, I don't want to pay for a product that's going to cost a couple of pounds a month to do that for me when it takes a few seconds. But just make sure that you follow the, them three steps when you find a product. Get the ASIN, put it in the revenue calculator. Check the profit margin you'd be getting. Check the sales rank and the ratings. And then if everything's looking sweet at that point, come over to Seller Central, go to your catalogue, add product and see if you need to apply to sell. If you do need to apply, apply. It doesn't hurt you just to have open outstanding applications that you're not going to do anything with and you might just get instantly approved. If you do get instantly approved or you don't need approval, then you can go ahead and purchase them products and get them listed. So without further ado, let's go and waste some time searching for some products. I will join you guys back when I find at least one product that is going to make us some profit. So without further ado, if I can be bothered, let's have a little timer appear in the bottom right and let's get it started and going and see how long it takes before I find a product. So Amazon FBA is easy, don't get me wrong. It is not hard to understand how to do retail or online arbitrage. The steps are easy but the time it takes to find products is the issue that is the barrier to entry. The other barrier is obviously having enough money to be able to do it all in one go. So someone like me who only has a budget has to wait for the money to come back to reinvest. But the time is the main issue because as you will have saw there, I went through loads of products and if you were paying close attention to it, depending on how long, how quickly I might just speed it up or if I just cut bits out or if I didn't even show it because it took that long. If I did hide it all, by the way, because it took that long, I'll leave a time here of how long it took me to find this product. But there were some products that I found, such as this Among Us action figure, 3 99 Some of them going for around £9.50 on Amazon. That would have got us a couple pounds. But this one here is random, depending on which one you get. You could end up with the blue one, the red one, the pink one. The pink one, you lose money. The blue one, you make money. The red one, you roughly break even. Things like that are going to happen. There was then other items I found. I believe there was some product I found on... I can't remember what site it was now. But there's been other products I found on other sites where there's either been no profit, minimal profit, or restrictions when it comes to sell it on Amazon itself. But here we go. We found this x Shop Typhoon Thunder Blaster. Now... It is a water gun. I know there is profit to be made on this because as I'll show you now, we've gone through the stages on Amazon, gone through the revenue and we've checked we can sell it. I know it will not sell in the next possibly one to two months because there is no way people are having water fights in the next one to two months. But when people start having water fights, this price is going to go up. It's a seasonal product and I'm willing to buy it while the price is low. But as we can see here, it's $6.99. Come over to Amazon. We've got the Ace in. It's not got an incredible seller's rank. And that is the best seller's rank it's been. But it is fairly high for water pistols. And water pistols will obviously start to gain popularity when we get into the summer months. So I am not expecting this to sell anytime soon. But if we come over the revenue calculator, we can see it was going for around $17.99 which is exactly what it is at the moment. So 
we're paying 6.99 it's four pound 13 profit it's over 22 percent it means we can afford to cut the price down if need be so we could possibly go to 15.99 and we're still looking at that 15 percent profit we've then copied over the asin on to amazon seller central and we can see we can now sell the product now i've got a quick tip for you guys i once got a product from home bargains I then went through all these steps and it was fine to sell. So I then went over to Home Bargains, placed the order for four of the products, waited for it to get delivered, got delivered, I went to list it and I was no longer able to sell the product. So what I'd always recommend you do when you find your product, you instantly press sell the product. Then you're going to say that you will allow Amazon to dispatch the product. You're going to put in your price, which in our instance here is going to be that $17.99. You're then going to select your condition type we are putting in new and then we're literally going to scroll down at the bottom and go save and finish and then what that means is when we come to sell this product this our inventory will update in the next five to ten minutes and all we'll have to do whenever we go to sell that product when it gets when it arrives to our house in a few days is go down to the right hand side and click send slash replenish inventory and then we don't have to worry about it so what i'm going to do Obviously, with it being a seasonal product and not going to sell too quick, I'm just going to buy two of them. Two of them will still be a nice £8.26 profit or a 22% per item profit on these. So I'm literally going to purchase the two of these. I'm going to go put in my credit card details, my address, everything along them lines. And I'll see you at step three, which is going to be packaging the product up. So I'll see you when they get delivered. So the box has finally arrived from Home Bargains. So we've got our products inside here. All we're going to do is unpack them, print off new labels, stick it over again, and then send it back off to UPS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all fully unpacked, show you how you get your labels, show you how you package up your boxes, and then quite simply arrange for it to get picked up tomorrow. And then we'll be done. And we'll just be waiting for the products to sell. So one of the bonuses when you do online arbitrage, I don't know if I've already mentioned this yet on the video, it's been a few days since I started it, but you'll get a lot of padding with your product getting delivered. Now if you're someone like me who likes to do a mix of online and retail arbitrage, that works out perfectly. Because as you saw from the video either last week or a few weeks back, we did some retail arbitrage and we're left with some products that we haven't yet sent off. So what I can actually do now is fit them products into this box as well and then add in as many of the leftover packaging that we've got so it works out quite well you can mix and match and then just send off one box instead of needing to send off multiple so let's have a look at the products so obviously we only bought two of these products but they're right here and ready to go so let's get loaded up amazon fba and get these labels printed off so as we did a few days ago we've added in the product already so that we can get the labels what i'm actually going to do is adding a few extra products that I've got as well while I was waiting the past few days. I've managed to get ungated in the Lego category, so we've got some Lego products here that I'm also gonna add in and get the labels printed off all in one go. So let me add these products onto our inventory. So just to quickly show you the products, we've got these Lego roses that I bought for 11 pounds on the Lego store. I've only got two of them to send off. And then we've got these Lego keychains that I bought 10 of. Now, these don't sell very well. They've got quite a high sales rank, so they're not going to get sold. Or at least they're not going to get sold anytime soon. As you can see, 189,000 in toys and games. But they were the cheapest thing on the LEGO site. They were on offer, and I needed to buy 10 to be able to get an invoice that I could get approval for in the LEGO category. So we've got these to sell. They're going to be less than a penny a month to store, so we'll just leave them there and see how that goes. So we've got all the products here listed that we want to send off. So I'm quite simply going to select all the products that we've got, which are going to be going in the shipment plan. So we've got them all selected. I'm going to come over to the left hand side and go send slash replenish inventory. And then we're going to put in all the amounts. So yes, we want to continue. This is how many we're sending. Now we just need to select that no prep is needed for these items. And we'll do that for any that have this little label next to them. Now the bonus here is you can actually see it says no labels required. Which is for our little key rings which is very handy. Because I don't actually have a label that small to go onto these. So fortunately I don't need to label them up. But I do need to label up all the rest of these products. Now I have already labelled up the Pokemon one and the Fortnite one. 
but I'll still need to put in how many units we're sending, so they'll still show up on the sheet anyway, regardless. So we've got two of these. They are ready to pack. We've got two of the Lego Roses as well, which are ready to pack. We've got one of the Fortnite buses and one of the Pokemon. And then we have 10 of these Lego Minion keychains. So let's put them on over there. So this is now going to give us the print SKU labels options or SKU label options. So we're just going to load that up. I've got 24 labels on my sheets. I've got two and two and one and one. I'm actually going to take these. I was hoping I'd be able to take them down, but I can't. So I'm just going to go print all because that'll still fit in one sheet. And as you can see, we've got all the labels there available. So we've got the two Lego Roses, the two guns, and then the two labels that we won't be using. So I'm just going to send that down to my printer and then go grab the labels. So now it's just going to be a case of applying the labels on the products. Now, as you can see, we have actually been able to fit all the items into the one box that we already had. So it makes it really nice and simple to send this off and do the next step. As long as Amazon is wanting all this in the same place. If Amazon suddenly wants all these sent off to different warehouses, that's when we get an issue. But the next step is pressing pack individual units. And then this is going to ask us how many boxes we need. So as you can see here, they're happy for all these to go together. So I'm going to say everything will fit into one box. We then need to put in the box dimensions and the box weight. Sometimes you get lucky and the box will already come pre-weighed and predetermined the sizes of it. But sometimes you are going to have to measure yourself. Unfortunately, this one didn't come with the measurements on. So I'm going to have to go grab my scales and grab my tape measure. Now it's coming in at 1.2 kilograms. So I'm just going to put 1.5 just because it makes it. Just because it means I won't get overcharged, hopefully, if it's incorrect. It does give me a warning saying it isn't meeting the minimum of the 2.7 that apparently it should be. So I am quite literally just going to change that to the 2.7, which is the minimum that it should be, based on what everything else is weighed at normally. So we'll just go with that and see what happens. So now it's asking what date will we be shipping this. I'm going to say that it will get shipped tomorrow. And as you can see, with the UPS, it is going to vary depending on where you are and everything like that. But... It's going to be free for me to send this with UPS, which is very nice and handy. So I'm literally just going to select that. You can select other ones if you so wish, but I'm just going to go with the UPS one. Click accept and confirm shipping. Then the next step is it's going to give me my labels to print off. Now with these labels, just make sure if you're using a pre-packaged box like I was from the order I got from Home Bargains, just make sure you stick over the labels that are already on there. So as you can see, stuck that one right over the old label. And then that box, with everything we've got in it, from our retail arbitrage and two lots of online arbitrage, is ready to go to UPS. So you can either arrange for UPS to come pick that up. I believe when I did that before, it was around about £2.40 to do that. Or you can find your local UPS and go drop it off. Now all you have to do is wait for Amazon to get your shipment. It can take a few days, then it can take a few days, possibly even around about a week or over, to get these all processed in. I sent off some fugglers a few weeks ago, and there's actually still two that haven't even been processed yet. But that's it for this video. We've gone through the whole steps of making money online through Amazon FBA. We'll have hopefully made a decent chunk of profit with all these, especially with the late editions of the Lego. But thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.